In this video, I'll show you how to create a Casio style game using LVGL and Squareline Studio, utilizing the M5 card computer keyboard and built-in speaker to make the game more engaging. Uh, this project fetches the time from the internet and displays it when the game is not running. Once the game starts, it shows the score, remaining lives, and the current level. Press P to start the game. Use the comma and backslash keys to change the track. Using reference images, I created the game elements in Figma. For the enemy, three instances are needed, left, middle, and right. Additionally, create elements for the track, marking, and bar, similar to the Casio Cosmo Flight UI, to give the game a familiar look and feel. Once everything looks good, export the elements in .png format. In Squareline Studio, place the exported elements in their respective positions to match the layout and design of the game. Change the panel LR widget to give the track switching effect, enabling smooth transitions between the left, middle, and right tracks. The container time contains a label to display the time fetched from NTP. I added a label background with a slightly dark color to give it an LCD text effect. The container message displays other information such as the game status, IP address, and more. Uh, the label score shows the game score. Once the game is finished, it will hide, allowing the time to become visible again. You can find the font links in the description. For the level and life indicator, I use the bar widget. Place the bar widget and set its width and height to match the created elements. Set the bar's max value to 5. Set the background radius to 0. I created two elements for the bar, the bar background and the bar indicator. Style the bar accordingly. If everything looks good, export the UI. You can check my OBP video to see how to create a template and set up the code easily. Check the link in the card. The code is self-explanatory. Uh, you can find the GitHub link in the description. If you like this video, consider supporting by liking and sharing.
If the game is not playing, it displays the time fetched from NTP. To set it up, connect to the card pewter SSID, go to 192.168.4.1, and enter your Wi-Fi SSID and NTP time zone. Once set up, restart the device. You can also flash this using M5 Burner. Search for 2M8, download it, select the correct port, and burn the firmware.